Can I tell you a secret? I am a messy worker. Today, we're going to clean up that mess with a portable vacuum and dust collection station. That's coming up. So this project is going to serve two purposes. On one side, we're going to put a vacuum station with a just regular backpack shop vac. On the other side, we're going to install a dust right dust collection system. All right, so this is a pretty simple design. Basically, we're going to do a five or six foot, I'm still working on the measurements for that, uh, wall on a base, and then use a basically like an A-frame type uh, attachment on either side made out of plywood that connects the two boards together. Then off of that, on one side, we'll attach the vacuum system. It stands about four foot uh, tall when the bag is attached. It has the motor at it and uh, basically a hose that comes off. On the other side, I'll have the backpack. Uh, it's basically a small uh, form factor shop vac that made, made to fit against the wall, but you can take it off and carry with you. Um, the hose wraps around it, and then we'll put attachments on here as well for the uh, brushes and, and such, and then at the very bottom, make it room on here to stick a trash can. We'll go with 5.9. Take it basically taking off just a little bit more for the uh, for the wheels, puts the overall height about six, six one, somewhere in there. So, with these bore up uh, track guides, uh, you got to come off the measurement of the space between the saw blade and the edge of this, uh, which for my particular saw is an inch and a half. We're on the wrong side. <laughs> We're on the wrong side for filming. So we're gonna turn this around so that it's easier to... Measure twice, cut once, frame up the camera six times. <laughs> right. So these boards are going to be sandwiched uh, between the pieces of plywood that we've already cut and basically going to create the frame and this is what's going to give it the stability to hold the uh, dust the dust right system plus the vacuum. Um, ultimately we want to make sure that the thing is not top heavy and going to fall over and so you know, giving it the stability that we need on this, uh, this should should resolve some of that. We'll put cross pieces underneath the, the bottom as well, uh, next to the wheels that will kind of stabilize um, the, the platform so it doesn't dip uh, from the weight. So just to clarify, you're sandwiching the wood, not making me a sandwich later. Uh, you're funny. Yeah, no, that's what we're going to do. Um, you know, funny on that one. So this whole design is based off of a, uh, a video that was done by uh, uh, Caitlin and Evan and it was funny because during the video, and I don't know how much you can use this, but <laughs> it was funny because during the video, Evan kept referring to it as cookies. It was going to sandwich it like cookies and she's like, you mean like an ice cream sandwich? She's like, yeah, like an ice cream sandwich. Together like a cookie and in the middle. <laughs> Cookies, you mean like ice cream sandwich? <laughs> Is that ice cream sandwich? That's what I meant. I meant ice cream sandwich. All right, let's go. So I, I, I got to prop up my wood. I don't have a proper miter station. It's one of the things that's on my list to build, and uh, I'm hoping to do it very soon. Uh, 
you know, really what it comes down to uh, is, is space. I just don't have the space for all the tools that we've got, you know. This is a garage after all, and my wife does still want to park in it. Thinks that she needs to park in it, something like that. And so I'm trying to get as much into the space as possible. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos from Shop Nation, and he talks about shop greatness. Um, you know, I would just be happy with. <laughs> shop functionality <laughs> on that note make sure you like this video so that she knows this is a real thing not just a life crisis ah you're funny oh i know right <laughs> so, so, so that my wife doesn't think it's a midlife crisis kids are more of the ones that think it's a midlife yeah, crisis man. you know i've been building stuff out in the garage all of their lives most of it halloween type stuff i'm just the whole YouTube thing is is just kind of documenting it so that I remember how to do some of this stuff. Cut these out. Um, I'm thinking that if I go half of this. This is 16 inches wide. The base is going to be like this anyways from the other piece of scrap. So if we go half, that should be enough stability on either side of that, hopefully, to uh, balance that out. <clears throat> so I'll cut this in half and basically put a or <laughs> 45, <laughs> something like that in there. So. Um, to do that, we're going to have to rearrange the shop a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm marking it. <laughs> Table saw. Has a my table saw has a uh, tape on it. A great marking system on it. So I don't know if we're going to do this yet or not. I'm just trying to get an idea at the moment. I was originally thinking of doing an A-frame. We have 15 and 3 quarters. Math is hard. Words are hard. Math is hard. Like I said, I'm not, not totally sold on this yet. For stability. Part of part of this is learning as you're doing, you know, learning learning as you go, learning by doing is what I always say, um, and essentially that's what that's what we're doing here is we're learning as we go. So two by four, draw on a blank on the measurements. So two by four is what three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half inches. So inch and three quarter to split that in half. All right, so the whole math is hard concept. I'm basically going to turn this and find my angle. Because I don't know what it is. And I don't have a protractor to figure it out.
For this base, I attached a couple of pieces of 2x4 for strength and screwed on some locking casters so I can roll around the shop. Notice that I used washers for the screws because the mounting holes on the casters are meant for bolts, which is a bit of overkill for this project. Why don't you grab your bigger angle for that? Because I'm not that smart. <laughs> <coughs> you mean I can't eyeball it? I used to do it with airplanes and they're still flying. Well, that's that good enough for government work thing. No. To connect the frame to the base, I centered and clamped the braces we cut out and attached with screws. I sandwiched the 2x4s between the plywood to assemble the frame. Then I slid it into position, centered on the base. Now for the fun part. Pumping that roller? <laughs> exactly. Now that the stand is together, it was time to attach the vacuum and the dust collection system. The vacuum mounting plate is designed to hold it to the wall, but it can be easily released to carry around the garage. On the other side, I'm using a dust right collection system from Rockler. It has a French cleat that makes it easy to hang from our frame. It's designed for mounting onto the studs in your wall. I positioned it so that it would be just high enough off the ground to hang the bag freely. Turn it on and fire it up. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, so this wraps up our build. As you can see here, we have our dust collection system on one side, vacuum on the other. The vacuum is great for hooking up to smaller items such as uh, sander or just sweeping up around the shop. The bigger side is going to be for hooking up to the table saw and maybe even the CNC, but either way, they have two different purposes. If you like the information in this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know that you appreciate the work that we put into it. Also, subscribe to our video and be sure to come back next time to see what we have in store. Until next time, I'm Brad, and this has been My Simple Builds. All right, so we're going <laughs> And uh, be sure to hit subscribe button. You want to start over on that? Yeah. yeah.